Good morning, YouTube. It's me, Elliot, your favorite funny graphic design YouTube channel. If this is the first time you're joining me on the channel today, well, hello. I make funny videos uh, infused with graphic design. It's a beautiful mix. Uh, rarely done these days. Everyone takes graphic design so seriously, but I hope to tear that apart and just have fun and muck about and who knows what we'll do. I'm just so silly and goofy. I really have no idea what I'm going to do every video. I improvise every single video. I want to be very clear on that. You're probably wondering why I said good morning at the start of this video, because it's so dark in this damn apartment. Look at the dog having a nap. It's that dark. It's ridiculous. Well, guess what? It's been overcast for the last like 24 hours, like really overcast. And it, and it really brings the lighting down and it brings my mood down as well. I, I don't enjoy working in the overcast. I, otherwise, I'd live in bloody London, wouldn't I? Bloody over, overcast all day. I'd live in bloody London. Yeah, I'd be British, British Elliot, everyone's favorite. So I've decided to film this video at 10 a.m. Uh, to see to see if this will, you know, spur my creative energy anymore. I was up really late last night and I was like, oh, I should probably film a video. And then I was like, that's that's a bad idea for everyone. No one's going to enjoy watching a video made at like midnight, right? Just go to bed, get up and then work on something. So this is this is the product of that realization. And I hope it works out. Uh, and I hope this becomes the most viewed video of my channel of all time. I'm I'm certain. Last week's video was meant to be the most viewed one. Why would that be the case? This will be the most viewed one. Obviously. Make it happen. Please. Today's video is a design with Elliot, which means that you can sit back and enjoy or design while I design with Elliot. I'm Elliot. You're de I'm de you are the ones you can. It's a design with me style video, essentially. We're just I'm just going to design something and you can design along. Today, I'm going to be making a post for my Instagram page. Elliot is a cool guy. If you don't know it, the link is in the, the, the video description. I make funny kind of honest design posts uh, trying to break down the creative, my creative experience in a creative and, and true to myself way. I don't know. I don't know. I just I just make funny things that I think are funny. Uh, so maybe you'll enjoy it over there as well. This is the first design with Elliot uh, that's going to be in Adobe Illustrator, which is really exciting. I've used Photoshop for the last four. Uh, so we're, we're doing true design, true design moves right now. Uh, and I'm going to blow your mind with my amazing Illustrator skills uh, from two weeks of learning Illustrator. Um, no, but I think I've got the hang of it now. It, it It's pretty much, you know, muscle memory it feels like already so it, it it should be a lot of fun i've got a lot of ideas for today's design i'm gonna have a little think about what i want to do then we're going to do some designing uh, and then we'll just have a look at the the, the finished product at the end it's going to be a, a simple little video that i think you'll really enjoy so stick around to the end if you want to see what the finished product looks like that's incentive for you right there now before we get into the video i'd quickly like to mention that Something that a lot of you might not know about me is that I used to work at a computer store. That's right, I used to sell computers. Well, I wasn't the one directly selling them. I was what's called a brand ambassador. So I would stand there and tell people to buy a certain type of computer and then not actually sell it. I'd like pass the sale on to someone else who actually worked at the store. It was a very interesting job. But what it did mean is that I learned a lot about computers. Now, I don't use a Mac. I've always been anti-Mac. Uh, I don't, I, I had one when I was in uh, like high school uh, and I, and I, it just like broke like a year into it. It got really slow and I was like, no more of this. I'm going to start using PC stuff. And, and I've never really looked back since then, even though I do have an iPhone because uh, they stopped selling Windows phones. I would, I, would, I would obviously have a Windows phone if they didn't stop selling them. I don't love my iPhone at all. Nice case, by the way, Elliot. But I know a lot about computers, which is why I'm very happy to announce that the sponsor of today's video is Kingston. Now, Kingston have very kindly sent me their new KC3000 Gen 4 SSD, which if you're not in the know and you didn't, you know, you didn't work at a computer store like me, SSD means a solid state drive, which is essentially like a, like a quicker type of storage. Like your old computers might've had like a hard drive, which is like, there's a lot of, my computer has a hard drive as well. It's like a, like a spinning disc kind of thing. It's like quite a big, big storage kind of thing. And then the SSD is like this much more compact, slim, faster storage. It's, it's, it's not bigger than my finger. It's, it's a truly amazing piece of technology. Uh, and this baby right here is around two terabytes, just over two terabytes worth of storage on it. And we're going to be chucking this bad boy into my computer today. 
Now, of course, since we are using a bit of computer tech, my post for my Instagram page is going to be inspired uh, by computers. I've made a few posts in the past about having like a slow computer because that's what I used to work on to make all my posts. Uh, and then slowly as I've kind of like built that page up, I've upgraded my computer slowly. Uh, and now we've got this, this, this thing. This is my desk, but we, underneath the desk, there is a computer uh, that runs the whole process very quickly. Now, my computer already is pretty fast, right? I've, I've got this, uh, I'm currently recording uh, on a system called OBS, uh, and I usually uh, will either be streaming that on Twitch or I'll be doing Photoshop and stuff at the same time. So there's a lot of things going on and it works all smoothly, uh, but I want things to be a, a little bit faster. And this is the latest and greatest tech right here. So I'm very keen to chuck this in the computer and see what kind of speeds we can. So thank you to Kingston for sponsoring the video and let's get into some designing. So here we are in a fresh Adobe Illustrator file, getting ready to design a post for my Instagram page. Uh, now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, uh, what can I potentially, what ideas am I having? What ideas am I having for a, a post about computers? And then I'm, I'm looking at my little KC3000. Hang on a second. What is it doing in my hand and not in my computer? Oh my God, I forgot to install this. Well, hey, let me show you how easy it is to install this really quickly. Come on down to the floor with me and I'll, Watch, watch this. Watch me do some hard work. Hey everyone, welcome to Hell on Earth, under my desk. Now, your challenge for today's video is to not say a single thing about my cable management or anything, okay? I'm working really hard. I got this new big white, I got the little tray. I, I got a lot of stuff going on down here. Um, but I'm, I'm trying, okay? So please just, please just ignore it. This is my computer. Yes, it looks like I'm a little bit of a gamer. It's not, it just runs Photoshop really well. Okay, um, but there's a, this is this is where we're gonna be chucking in a, a little baby right here, okay? Now, let me show you how to do this. Okay, first things first, everyone's computer is different, so make sure you're checking out your computer manual uh, before, you, before you get into it, okay? So I've had a look, and mine is very, very simple, and yours should be as well. Right under here, uh, there is a slot going through here, okay? Now, usually most computers will have a screw here. Mine is a very handy little rotating thing uh, that I just need to rotate away from the slot uh, and then I can kind of snap it in really easily. Uh, but what you're gonna be looking for is a space about this big uh, that has uh, one of these slots here, okay? So all I'm gonna do is just chuck the SSD in this slot uh, and then it's gonna kind of like sit at a 30 degree angle and then I'm gonna push it down uh, until it sits nicely onto this uh, little rotator uh, and then rotate it into place uh, so it's, it's, it's nice and easy. Watch this. Good. It's in there, nice and easy. So as you can see, I've got the, uh, the KC3000 uh, just sitting in that slot, nice at a 30 degree angle. It's sitting off the motherboard right now. Uh, we can actually push that down into that slot there. And now that it's pushed down flush against the motherboard, all I'm gonna do is rotate uh, my little dial here and that should lock it into place. Now you might have a screw there, uh, which which honestly might be a little bit easier than this rotating thing. It took me a little while to figure out, uh, but all you'd have to do is just unscrew that, uh, pop down the SSD and then and screw it into place right there. And then you're all set to go. How easy. Look at that beautiful little device just sitting in there. Got it. Hey, KC3000. Welcome, welcome to your new home. Now I think it's time to get back designing. So let's let's do that. So the new drive has been installed. As you can see here, we've got our new E drive. I've named it Big Boy because it's one heck of a drive, as you can tell. So the read speed for the KC3000 is 7,000 megabytes per second for all capacities. And the write speed, depending on the capacity, is up to 7,000 megabytes per second. So this thing is bloody quick, okay? And to prove to you how quick that is, Elliot from the future is here to show you a very quick speed test. So we're here inside the Kingston drive. This here is a folder of every design that I made on my Instagram page since hitting 100,000 followers. That's how I categorize my files based on follower counts. It says a lot about the person, but we're going to ignore that for now. Uh, this is 25 gigabytes worth of files, okay? Let's talk in JPEGs and Photoshop files, all that good stuff. This thing's packed. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly uh, hit the old copy button, uh, and then I'm going to paste it into the folder to see how long it takes to uh, to do this, okay? And let's let's have a look. Uh, 25 gigabytes uh, right here, um, and as you can see, uh, this is this is absurdly quick, absurdly quick. Usually this t would take like a solid few minutes, and I've already got a pretty pretty fast SSD. So uh, that's uh, that's one heck of a speed test for you. 
Uh, and now we're going to cut to Elliot of the Past to continue the rest of the video. Do you like my new haircut? More, more to come in future videos about the, hair, about the hair. So this is the idea for today's poster. If your computer is slow, it's just trying to keep up with how good your work is. A nice little wholesome, motivational, uh, with a bit of uh, comedy in it uh, for anyone out there with those uh, slow computer struggles. I've been there. You've been there. We've all been there. It's a bit of fun. Now, I've done some posters like this before, uh, and people seem to really like the whole, like, if your computer is, you know, really loud, it's trying to cheer you on and stuff like that. Like, you know, like, funny things about how turning a negative into a positive, I guess. Um, and I think it's a fun little idea for a post. Um, so, yeah, we're going to kind of work with this text in today's design. Okay, so I'm thinking it could be good to make this one mainly type-based, I think, and then we'll have a kind of, like... Uh, little graphical elements later throughout the throughout the design. Um, so I'm thinking maybe something uh, a cool sans serif, like a cool kind of retro sans serif, like Noia Cable, for example, could be good, or potentially uh, New Form Sans, which is a font that I've never used before in a design, but I have, and it's really nice. So I like the look of this so far. Um, let me just make the leading a little bit tighter, and, and let's put this in full caps as well and see what we can get. Um, so I think that's pretty nice, and, and definitely a different vibe to what I usually do. So I think let's play with this for now. I also want to see if I can get the leading, uh, the, the kerning rather, nice and super close, like really, really close, uh, like this. And I'm a, a big fan of that so far. Just the leading a little bit, uh, and let's make that a little bit bigger as well and center that. Um, and I like that. It's a nice kind of bold, striking heading to, to grab your attention as you scroll down the feed again and again and again until you see an Elliot post and your day is made, obviously. So let's find a different uh, font for slow. I think slow could be cool in like a nice little script font. I'm kind of imagining this overlapping this as well. I think that could look quite nice. Um, and I don't want to do full caps for a script. I could actually, we, we might give it a a try. Let's use something like Oddity today, which is my absolute favorite font. See, this is kind of cool, right? I like the idea of this being in full caps. I think it's very, like, I think a script font uh, in full caps is very underrated. It's not really how it's intended to be used, but I think it's just, you know, we could do, uh, you know, we could just do a regular kind of like lowercase for this, right? But that's kind of, that's not a statement, you know. It probably looks a little bit cleaner. But it's not a statement. This is a, this is a statement, okay. I want to I want to be making a statement about how slow computers are in 2022. You know, this is important. Um, so let's chuck that in around here. Just center it a little bit. Shrink it down a tiny little bit there. Um, and let's just add a white stroke going around the outside of this. Um, just to see how it'll look uh, if I kind of overlap it. Uh, a little bit, I think. Let's get that stroke going. Uh, so apparently you can't do a stroke on the outline of text, uh, which is something that I didn't know about. And we're, we're in our learning era. Okay. So I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I have turned the text into outlines and then struck the outlines uh, as I, I think it just, it's the, it's the easier option. Um, and I'm liking where this is going, right? I kind of like uh, how simple that is. It's, it's just a little subtle little exterior stroke there. I also like how it kind of cuts into here, the other one. I think that gives it a cool little effect too. Um, and I think that looks pretty good so far. I think I like this as kind of a, as a thing, you know, I think it, it, it looks good as a header, I think. Yeah. Um, we might actually try and rotate this a little bit as well. Um, and I believe the way, I believe you can like, okay, so I'm going to use the free transform tool, uh, to just slightly, uh, angle it up a little bit, which I think might be nice. Uh, which I think that's doing what it should be doing. Um, and then we can kind of just fix that text up a little bit there. Um, and that just gives it a little bit of motion, a little bit of, it's a little bit kinetic, you know, which I think is cool. Um, and that's looking really good. Very, very, very happy with what we've got going on here. Two fonts by two independent type foundries. We've got Oddity by Resistenza Type Foundry and New Form Sans by New Form Type. How good is that? Support type designers, everyone. They're awesome. You heard it here first. Now I'm thinking for the bottom part, it might be good just to use this new form sans again and kind of like slot that under because I'm kind of really liking how bold it is and it, it might just be good kind of going directly down the line. Okay, so this is kind of the vibe we're going with. Um, I added in a little haha -ha to the caption as well just to add a little bit of space at the bottom and it just gives it a little bit of cheekiness. People seem to like the ha-has. I like the ha-has. 
Who doesn't like the ha-has? We all love having a laugh, right? Uh, so, yeah, I think this is looking pretty slick. Um, I definitely think there's more to be done. Um, I just want to play around with, like, the positioning of all of this text as well. I wouldn't mind having a little bit of, like, empty space down the bottom, potentially. I think this might be a little too big. But maybe if we kind of just, like, keep it aligned at the top there, it still could be nice. Something like this could be good. Or we just go back and center it and kind of play around with some shapes around the top and bottom, which I think might be best. I'm also thinking this might give away too much down the bottom here. So I'm going to quickly try and see what this might look like, uh, potentially just as a, a stroke, for example, um, just as an outline down the bottom there. That looks good. I think that could definitely be a option. Let's try filling that in with white there, adding maybe a little extra bit of a stroke, probably too much of a stroke. Let's go down one. Um, I think that could be good. It's definitely not as bold, but I think it's like nice that this is very much the heading. And then we kind of go down um, as, as we go along. Um, so let me try maybe, if we turn this into outlines down the bottom here, we can change that stroke just to being on the outside. I'm sure there's another way to do it, but I do maybe, maybe on the inside actually could be good. That's kind of looking nice and clean and what we want. Um, and let's take this shape once again. Let's duplicate it. I'm just going to try blending it. And that's looking pretty cool. This is very different to what I usually do, but I don't mind it. I don't think it's the... Uh, uh, I think I liked it how it originally was. Let me go back to that. So usually when I have text like this that doesn't really fit the way I want it to uh, in like the poster, like if it, it kind of... If it's stretched all the way down, I'd be happy, but it's, it's just not there yet. I want to see, maybe that would work. That would kind of work. The spacing works there. Let me try something real quick. Um, I really like taking the, uh, the object and then putting like a rectangle behind it, for example. And then let's make the rectangle nice and flush to that design there. Nice and flush. Get it all seamlessly connected like a good designer. And then let's add another rectangle and we'll check this one uh, just in our background here. Um, I'm still confused as to why you can't just like fill the background layer. I think that's definitely a thing that I'm curious about uh, when it comes to Illustrator. I, I will never really understand that. Um, and then let's send that to the back there. Uh, and then we got a nice little border for that text, which I think is cute. Okay. I'll try rounding the edges just a little bit. And that's looking pretty cute right there. Um, but I did really like what we were doing before um, with that extra text kind of like, uh, if, if you remember about five minutes ago, um, that extra text just at the bottom. Okay, so I'm a big fan of this layout. I think this is the winner right here. Uh, now a little a few things need to change with the kerning. A few letters are a bit too close on my liking, for example. Um, but I think for now, this is a pretty good starting point. Uh, and then I can kind of see myself adding in a few kind of like shapes over the top, maybe like kind of like weaving their way through the design potentially. I think there's a lot of room for that. Um, or I could even do something like this, which might be a little bit wild. Hear me out. Uh, I'm also thinking that center alignment might be a bit too boring. Um, and let's try like left alignment, for example. And I think that could be even cooler. Now, I would obviously want to make that top part left aligned as well, but I have created outlines. So I've kind of made it annoying for myself as I can't turn it back into text. At least that's what I think. I should have duplicated the text now. I keep forgetting that I can go off the canvas in this damn program. Grrr. Um, but I think that's the, the left alignment could be great for this one. And that'll leave us with a nice bit of space over here for something cool. So let me do all that text nonsense and I'll be right back. Here we go. Now we're talking. I really like the layout of this. Okay. The left alignment is definitely a win for me today. I think that's good. I never usually do left alignment. I'm a big fan of center. A lot of people say... It's one of those classic, like, oh, you search up, oh, top 10 rules to never break in graphic design. A lot of people say, like, oh, you should never, never center a line. But I've always been a fan of center aligning, so I'm definitely a fan of this. Um, and I think there's a lot of potential for this kind of area around here. So I want to create some shapes, potentially, uh, to muck around with. I'm just going to duplicate all this text just so I don't lose it, because I usually muck around with text. And we're just going to lock this so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, and let's maybe play around with making a shape for here. So what I'll do is I'm just going to grab a little circle um, and we're just going to chuck that in there. Let's make this 
that nice yellow color because I do love this color oh so much. Um, and we're going to go into object uh, envelope distort, make with mesh, uh, and let's just do a two by two. We have this beautiful little mesh now that we can play around with all we want. As you can see, uh, we can kind of take every individual uh, element to this. Uh, we can just drag this around as much as we want, right? And we can get some really cool shapes uh, coming out of this. I also wouldn't mind putting a like a stroke around the outside of this, uh, which I think could be nice um, and see how that stroke affects the warp too. Um, that's already looking pretty cool. Let's send this to the back as well. Not that far back, please. Not that far back. There we go. Um, this is going to be a little bit annoying. This stroke thing that I've done there. Um, I should probably unite these two. I think that's the term, if I remember correctly, in the illustrator. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, we'll figure it out a little bit later. Um, so let's have a crack with playing around with this mesh and see if we can come up with anything. So enjoy this little time lapse of me faffing about. Okay, so I did it. The uh, the shapes are done. They look really cool. I'm, I'm very happy with the colors. I think they're absolutely popping off the page, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, and I managed to figure out how to get the, uh, the, the stroke thing. Oh, look, whatever I did to do this, to like keep the, the stroke going through here, whatever I did was not optimal at all. I want to be very clear, which is why I did not want to film it and reveal my methods. There is definitely a better way. I will figure it out one day. What I just did was like a cardinal sin. That was embarrassing. Um, so it's done. It's done. And I didn't have to open up Photoshop because I know how to do it in Photoshop. But yeah, anyway, it is it is done. And it looks good. It looks good. So I think what I want to do now is potentially play around some more with this bottom text. I'm not super happy with the... Uh, the look of it just yet, I think. I think I want to go back to seeing if it looks any good with the stroke. Just the stroke. Um, so let me try that one more time. Uh, no, I think maybe it would look better with like potentially a different font entirely. So let's, I want to like move this, get it out of the way for one sec. And let's, let's think about what we can do. Because I really like what we've got going on up here. I'm really enjoying this. The top half is really, really clean. I think, I think. And I think it could potentially look even better if we like, Let's shrink this down a little bit, right? Kind of, because I really like this as an element and I don't want to take away with it with too much stuff going down, going on at the bottom. So I think maybe just like a simple bit of text at the bottom could work better than like more, more of the same, you know what I mean? So let's take this bunch of text here um, and let's let's shrink the, the heck out of this thing. Um, and let's use like a more kind of standard sans serif. I'm thinking like something like, uh, you know what it's called? Neue Montreal, I think would be nice. Let's do that. Uh, maybe a nice semi bold, I think could be good. Um, and let's do something. Let's get rid of the capital letters on this one. Okay. I wrote it in caps lock, which is really good. So let me just type this out again. Okay. So we've got a little sans serif here. I think it's pretty cute. I'm not 100% happy with where it's positioned right now it will probably look best if it's centered i think maybe uh, as like a little kind of tag on but let me see if it looks good left aligned uh, there's some annoying things whenever this happens i cannot stand this some people will just connect it and kind of like live with it i cannot stand it it is possibly the bane of my existence um, and i do not know how to ever like what my what the solution is ever in fact usually it's like doing something like this okay let me try this because i like this being here let me shrink this text a little bit great little tip here uh, the, I, I didn't use text boxes for a while because I didn't like how when you tried to like shrink them, it wouldn't like shrink the text. It would just shrink the text box. So kind of, that kind of annoyed me. If you just tap A, or rather if you select the object, tap A, um, then you get into that the free warp tool and you can kind of do whatever you want with it, which I think is really good. I'm getting better at these keyboard shortcuts, everyone. I'm learning. He's learning. We're so proud of him, says the viewer. Says the viewer. I also changed the text a little bit too. It's just trying to keep up with how good you are at designing which I think, I don't know, makes a little bit more sense. I don't think it made sense at the start is what I was kind of like realizing. So I wanted it to, I wanted it to make sense. So what I'd like to do, I think is just change, make make this feel a little bit awkward. You know, I like, I like text when it feels a little bit awkward, when it's a, a little bit over the place. 
uh, some, but still like kind of aligned a little bit, you know, like they kind of all fit in nicely. Uh, so let's try that uh, and shrink that just down there. And I, I like that a lot more, right? I like that a lot more as that little tag along. And I'm thinking maybe some sort of object here could be cool. And what I want to do is I want to go back to that earlier idea, I think, um, which is put this all on like some sort of uh, card. I think that would look really cool. So we're going to try and play with that. That also looks better when it's shrunk down a little bit too. So let's get this, uh, let's get a cool little background rectangle going. Let's chuck that over the entire thing. Let's send it to the back, pop it in front like that. Uh, and then let's chuck that around there. I really like the, I, I like the layout of this. It's a little bit off center, which I like a lot. So I want to see if I can go further into that. Um, and let me change the background of this entire thing to a beautiful, beautiful yellow. Why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? That would make me happy, I think. I think that would make me happy. I like the color yellow. I like it a lot. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I really I really like that color yellow, Elliot. That's looking pretty clean. Let's shrink all this. And I just want to do a cheeky rotate because I imagine that's how I present it. That's nice. That's nice. I really like that. I like that. It feels a little bit weird. It feels a little bit awkward. I like it. I like it a lot. I think we can definitely chuck something down here. That's something down there. But I like... I like where that's going. Good to know. Good to know, Elliot. You're getting there. You're getting there. Okay, so I realized there was a little kind of annoying thing where the P and the D were connecting. And then if I tried to fix it, the G and the H would start connecting. So I just added a little gap there. It makes it read a little bit. It's a little bit silly when you read it, which I like. Um, and I'm thinking we can add some little circles, uh, little different colored circles going down here, which is kind of like my new favorite thing to do. I want to add three, uh, three circles, just kind of like, just like that almost in a cool little in a grid without using a grid because that's Elliot okay and that's definitely not even so let's fix that up a little bit um uh, and that looks about even yeah sure that, that yeah that's even let's shrink that down change the color of each of these ones I think one of them will not be filled in which I think would be a cool little effect let's use those three colors there that looks kind of nice. Let's make this one not filled in. Okay. Let's do this one with a, a stroke that is blue, for example. Um, nice. See, that looks cool. That looks nice and clean. Nice and simple. Very good. Um, and I think I just want to add a cheeky little... Um, at Elliot is a cool guy at the top, of course. To make sure everyone knows that this was made by me. Elliot is a cool guy. Uh, so no one steals my work. Well, I'm just kidding. I don't really, I don't really care. This is all just for fun. At the end of the day, there is video proof that I made this. At the end of the day, so if anyone wants to, if anyone wants to muck around with me and trying to figure out what will happen if they bloody uh, steal my work, let me tell you something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get real. I'm gonna tell my mom. All right. I'm gonna get. Very, I'm gonna tell my mom on you. That looks good. I think. I like this little box a lot. Do you like it? Okay, now the only other thing I think I want to do uh, is just I want to see if we can round the corners just a tiny little bit to match those circles down the bottom there like that. Um, and then I also want to add like a, uh, a subtle black stroke I'm thinking as well. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to... Uh, I want to I want to put this in a little I want to give it a little drop shadow kind of effect thing I don't want to see how that looks because it kind of it's feeling like a computer screen right that's what it that's what it feels like to me um, and I think that's cool I think that's really cool uh, maybe you think it's cool as well uh, I think a computer the computer screen idea is is really sick and I think we can play into that more yeah so let's uh oh that could be cool a little bit of a rotating. And what happens if we blend that? What happens if we blend this? Oh, I can't wait to find out. This is going to be great. Object, blend, make. Wow. That's cool. I've never done that before. That's really cool. I re I'm a, wow. Hello. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a real big fan of that. Let's put the entire thing on a little rotate as well. Center all that. It's all grouped, so it should be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little computer screen vibes. Look at that. Oh, I like that a lot. I think we're done. I'm super happy with this. That turned out a lot better than I thought. Wow. 
Hell yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you like this as much as I do? Because I'm really, I'm a, I'm, I'm a big, big fan. This is great. Awesome. I was really worried there for a second. I thought it was going to turn out crap. This looks great. Let me show it on the big screen. Boom. There you go. Hell yeah. Go Elliot. I'm proud of myself today. Okay. It's early and I'm proud of myself. It's actually not that early. I spent two and a half hours filming this. How about that? A design done in one day. Never heard of it. It's impossible. Designs usually take more than one day, but I just did one in three hours. Whoa, that's so amazing. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining me on the journey of that post. I'm really happy with how it turned out as I've said a million times already, but I truly am. And I can't wait to post that on Instagram the day that this video comes out. So if you're watching this video now, then you can look at the post and you can, I don't know, feel free to uh, screenshot it or something. It's not an NFT. It's not an NFT. You can screenshot it all you want. Oh, NFTs. Ooh. No. A big, big thank you again to the sponsor of today's video, Kingston, for sending me that sweet, sweet KC3000 Gen 4 SSD. Uh, that thing really sped up the process of that design, as you could tell. Everything was super quick. Being able to like move things while the blend tool is working, like as it goes and all that. It's just cool. I really, I really like it when you can kind of have a vision and then you can see it happen in front of your eyes rather than like having to kind of sit back and watch some loading things. So if you're looking for like a fast and reliable uh, company to kind of like, you know, jump on board to if you're looking and upgrade your PC or build a new PC from scratch if you're maybe a Mac user. Kingston is definitely the go. My computer already came with Kingston stuff installed. I got it built um, by a, another sponsor, would you believe, earlier, uh, later last year. Um, so it already came with some Kingston stuff. So I was already working with some of the best gear around um, and I've just been able to upgrade it even more. So th big thank you to Kingston uh, for helping me work as fast as I possibly can um, today in today's video. And I uh, feel free to check them out. There's a link in the, the, the bio here of today's video. Uh, give it a click if you want and, and see if you can learn more about making your PC as good as it possibly can. Because you're a designer and real designers use PCs. I didn't say that, you did. Okay. If you want more Elliot, there's a plenty of videos that you can watch from me. This is the fifth video of the Design of the Elliot series. We've got a whole playlist that you can binge if you would like to. Uh, one of them has 94,000 views. I don't know how that happened and I would like to replicate that, but I'm still unsure as to how to do that. But wow, that was a that was a pretty sick thing when that happened. That was pretty awesome. If you want even more Elliot, then my Twitch stream is free and available for you all the time. I'm streaming there three times a week on a Tuesday, Wednesday, and a Friday, which is a Monday night, Tuesday night, and a Thursday night. If you are in the United States, which is, which is the United States, which is my biggest audience, I've always got to mention that. Uh, and every Thursday night or Friday stream, we do Design Chef, which is a little challenge where you can join in and I give everyone a challenge. We all design together for 60 minutes and then we look at everyone's work at the end. It's a lovely little confidence booster if you're, if you're looking to get started in design or if you're maybe just bored of client work and school work. It's a lot of fun. I sing a song. I dress up as a chef. It is a whole, it is a whole show. It's my favorite thing to do. So feel free to check that out. I also have a print store, which is great. So if you want to check the print store out and get a print. Let me know if you want that design as a print. You, I don't know. I can do it if you want. It's up to you. Um, but yeah, prints. Thanks for buying a print so far. It's been doing really well. Really, really happy with how it's going. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate you watching. Uh, and if you would like to, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time for some more Elliot. We've got some big videos coming soon. You heard it here first. Big videos planned, everyone. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching the end. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.